Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the computer science degree at WGU. So I have talked about this degree before. I have about 25 to 27 videos here on YouTube. And the computer science degree was my second ever video probably about three months ago. And it was one of my most popular videos. Computer science is a very popular major and a very popular major at WGU. So a lot of people search for this degree. A lot of people Google WGU computer science. Um, like I said, it's a very popular degree in general. Uh, it's always my number one listed college major whenever I do ranking videos, tier list videos. Computer science is the gold standard. It is the number one major in college, in my opinion. Of course, I'm probably a little biased, but one of the one of the reasons I did computer science, the major, is one, yes, I do have a hobby, uh, a programming hobby, but also uh, I research like which major pays the most, which major will have a lot of jobs in the future, which major is future proof, and computer science was always at the top of my research. So computer science, is it for you? Now, if you like coding, if you like building things, um, computer science is for you. But if you also like AI, um, if you like managing infrastructure, because you can become a cloud engineer, you can be a data engineer, right? Like there's many things you can do with a computer science degree. You don't have to just sit there and write code all day, okay? So there, the reason computer science is the gold standard in the tech industry is because you can do almost anything with it. You don't have to be a software engineer. You don't have to just code all day, okay? You can be a software engineer and you could go make 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars a year, you know, if you keep climbing the ladder. Um, software engineer is an extremely profitable job. Uh, or you can, you know, you can become a data engineer, okay? You can, you'd have to learn the required skills for it, but yeah, you can become a data engineer. You can become a cloud engineer, which is, you know, blowing up. I would actually recommend doing this degree over the cloud degree at WGU because you're going to pigeon, pigeonhole yourself into cloud if you do that degree. If you do this degree, you can do anything. You can do cloud too. You can get the computer science degree and then add all the cloud certs and you should be able to land a job. So, you know, uh, cloud is one of the things I, I explore as well. Um, but yeah, like you, uh, you can do so many things with a computer science degree. And the thing with WGU is you can get it quick. You can get it quick. You can get it fast. Um, like if you're in a bind, you need that computer science degree quick at WGU. You can get it under a year by transferring all these ACE credits from study.com and other places. So if you want a computer science degree in a year or less, WGU or Thomas Edison State University, which is a video I'll have in the future, but from one of these two schools, you can get a computer science degree in a year or less. So I'm going to go through a spreadsheet with you guys like I did in my other computer science WGU video, and I'm going to show you which courses transfer in from study.com and straighter line and other uh, websites, and we'll show you how to get a computer science degree fast at WGU and if you do it in one term you can get it you can get a computer science degree four to five thousand dollars which is pretty insane so we're gonna walk you through that spreadsheet right now we're gonna talk about the classes we're gonna talk about how many credits you can transfer in from these ACE credit courses all right guys in the computer science degree from WGU so we're gonna go over the study.com courses and also straighter line and Sophia here and a lot of you might be new to this. You might not be enrolled in the computer science degree at WGU yet. This might be the first time you're hearing of ACE credits. Odds are, if you're watching this video, you're, re you're researching how to do the WGU degree fast. And that's what attracted you to this school, that you can do a computer science degree in a year or less by doing acceleration at WGU. So you can accelerate without ACE credits, although it's five times easier if you transfer in these ACE credits. So what are ACE credits? ACE credits are the American Council of Education, and they are certified and recommended for college credit. And some partner schools will accept them, such as WGU and Thomas Edison State University. So these courses on study.com are all two, two to four days each if you have a lot of time on your hands. They are fast. Basically, you can watch my study.com video uh, that I'll link in the description. And that video, basically, you can you can get 90 college credits in six months. Like that's basically unheard of, right? 90 college credits in six months, like really unheard of. You can get even more than that too, if you wanted to. 
um, if you combine all three websites. Uh, so very hackable degree. 99.9% um, .9 of the population does not know how to hack a degree like this. So you are in the vast minority, right? If you want a computer science degree in a year or less to get, get on that job hunt, get that job fast, you're in the right place and you're at the right school. So I would recommend to do these ACE credits first. Uh, we'll talk here about study.com. So if you want to learn more about study.com, click the link in my description. Um, so study.com, it has a quiz model and you'll do about a hundred quizzes per class, which are very fast quizzes. And then you'll take a final exam, which is it's proctored, but it's not live proctored, basically a recording. And basically I flew through study.com classes in like three days each. They're very fast, especially these general education ones. These should all take you three days each at the most. Um, computer science courses, you know, these, these are pretty easy as well. Um, database fundamentals and introduction to programming are two things you want to pay attention to because those are two things you'll need on your job probably depending on what job you're working in. You definitely want to pay attention to introduction to programming because programming fundamentals are something you need to learn no matter what. So, you know, you need to learn programming and this will teach you the absolute basics and fundamentals of programming. So the only class I actually had trouble with, there's two, there's two classes I had trouble with at study.com. One is discrete math. I passed it on my second try. All in all, I probably spent like 10 days on this course. Um, I would recommend flashcards. This is the only course of any ACE credit course that I will recommend flashcards and recommend study your butt off and spend a lot of hours on because this course is pretty difficult, but it's not as difficult as a real college curriculum discrete math course. So, you know, you're still getting off the hook here with a easier course. Um, but it's still hard. It's a, still a very difficult course here at study.com. Uh, data structures and algorithms is a class you need if you ever want to get an engineer job. Okay, you need to know algorithms. You need to know data structures. Like after you get your degree, I would recommend going on something called leakcode.com and basically solving a bunch of those problems. Because on, on an interview, you will have to solve a bunch of algorithm problems uh, to get a job. So this course teaches the fundamentals of that, you know, basically data structures and algorithms. If you Google that, you know, you'll find out like that is the basis of any tech interview, maybe not information technology jobs, but for any kind of software engineer, data engineer, probably cloud engineer as well. Like you're going to have to solve a leak code style interview, which involves data structures and algorithms. So this is something you want to learn. Um, computer architecture is the other really hard class at study.com besides discrete math. Uh, personally, I did this class at WGU. It's hard on WGU as well, but it's easier than the study.com one, in my opinion. Uh, the study.com one has a really hard project that, in my opinion, doesn't make sense, but maybe they fixed it. Maybe they have it, um, but it doesn't really hurt you to take it, right? Like once you're in study.com, it's basically free to take. So I would take it and see if you can pass it. But um, artificial intelligence, uh, this is a course on study.com that will, will require an assignment and quizzes and a final test. So, you know, it's going to require a little more time than the standard three, four days. This one might take you a week. But, uh, but yeah, the computer science courses, you know, you should be able to do them all within a week each for sure. And the general ed ones, two, three, four days. Uh, so calculus, I recommend doing at straighter line or Sophia. I don't recommend study for this one because it's, it's a little complex at study.com. I did it at straighter line. Uh, I believe straighter line allows you to have a calculator, but I don't know if that's still a thing. So you might want to double check. Whereas I don't think any of the other sites allow a calculator. Um, but yeah, calculus is like the class where if you pass calculus, you can get a computer science degree, okay? Like this, this course was extremely hard. Like if you if you can pass calculus, computer architecture, and discrete math, uh, you can get a computer science degree, okay? Like those are the three courses that are gonna test your limits. They're gonna test you. You know, it's gonna, can you handle it? Like if you break down from it, like can you survive those three courses basically? If you can, you're golden, okay? The thing is WGU has 
a little bit of harder classes at their school, which I will get into in a second. Um, these are certifications you can transfer in. You can knock out all the Java classes with some of these certifications, although they're pretty tough courses, uh, pretty tough exams, basically. Um, you can knock Linux foundations out, business of IT. So these are a bunch of more courses you can knock out. Then you need to do at least 32 credits at WGU. The thing is, if you do all of this, right, if you do all of this, you should be able to complete 32 credits at WGU in one term, which is amazing. And then you, you know, you probably spent a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on ACE credits, and then you do four thousand dollars on one WGU term, and you have a bachelor degree for five thousand dollars. So let's let's look at this. This is uh these are two courses that shouldn't take you more than two days each: ethics and technology and technical communication. You know, they're kind of filler classes. Same thing with version control. Uh, and then the course list gets interesting. So software engineering actually is another course that I've taken at WGU. And this is another two, three day course. It's not going to take you very long, to be honest. It's it's a writing assignment. Um, it's a writing assignment that's not going to require more than a couple days of your time. So, you know, operating system for programmers. I've heard this is a difficult course. You will have to spend some time on it. I believe this is an OA course. So study on that one. Back in programming sounds like a pretty fun course. Never taken it, but it sounds fun. Um, sounds challenging. You know, you'll need that for your job. Uh, software design and quality assurance, discrete math too. So, you know, these are a couple courses you will need. Uh, on, well, this course you'll need to get a job, right? Data structures and algorithms too. That will help you pass those interviews. That will help you pass leak code style problems. This course you probably won't need on the job, but you know, you are going to need it to get this degree. So discrete math too, I've heard is the hardest course in this degree program. So, you know, if you can pass this course, you're absolutely golden. Um, but fear not, right? Like if you, for some reason, just cannot pass discrete math too, like you can transfer into a different computer science program at a different school with all these ACE credits. Um, there's many other schools you can transfer to. So if you get stuck on this course, like feel free to message me and feel free to ask me like, Hey, what other program can I transfer to, to get a degree? Like, don't give up just because you can't pass this. Like don't transfer, you know, um, to a business degree just because you can't pass this course. Like, you know, the software engineering degree at WGU is still really, really good. So if you can't pass this course, the software engineering degree at WGU is still a like spectacular degree. Um, but I would try for the computer science degree first, but yeah, like the, the discrete math too, like it might take you like a solid month. Um, I have heard people use a certain playlist to pass this course. I believe it's Tev tutor. I think, um, I never used that, but I will, I'll try to link it in the description if I find it. Um, like I said, I want to give you guys any resource I can to pass this degree. You know, so you also got this discount link for study.com up here. And you also have my website, majormash.com, where I have a bunch of WGU spreadsheets. You can download this spreadsheet. You can also download it in the description. Um, you know, I have some information on ACE credits on my website uh, and other things as well. So, you know, like I said, guys, if, if you want to work in tech, if you want to make six figures, if you want to be a software engineer, data engineer, cloud engineer, um, you know, so many avenues, a computer science degree opens your doors to any kind of tech engineer job. Like all the other degrees kind of pigeonhole you in that certain thing. Whereas computer science, you're open to all the engineer jobs. You know, that's the great thing about a computer science degree. And also like you look at any job listing in tech, right? It always says computer science degree, or it says computer science degree or equivalent, right? Like computer science degree is the gold standard. Every HR department knows what a computer science degree is. Um, computer science degree has been around forever. So like I said, it's a very valuable degree. I think it's the best major in college. I think it's the best degree in college, um, not just WGU, but any school. I would always recommend somebody go for a computer science degree, but there's plenty of other great degrees too. If you guys don't like this curriculum, um, you think it's too challenging or you think it's boring, like, you know, the software engineering degree is still great. There's still other great tech degrees too. You know, maybe information technology is up your alley, um, things like that. So 
But anyways, guys, like I hope you, I hope I help somehow, some way. And you can also check out my previous computer science video. The reason I made an updated one is because that one was my second ever video. Uh, the text was really small. You know, I didn't know what I was doing really. So I, I thought I'd make a new one, you know, with updated text, updated spreadsheet. Um, Cause the spreadsheet I had in that video was very basic and very beginner level. So I just wanted to update everything and uh, make a new video on this because that video probably was like my most popular video, um, WGU computer science. You know, it might be the most popular tech degree at WGU. So I just want people to, uh, you know, be able to find this new content, see if it's helpful for them and uh, just see what classes they can transfer in to make sure they can graduate with this degree in a year or less. So, and I will finally sign off saying that yes, this degree can get you a job. Okay, look at LinkedIn. There's plenty of WGU computer science grads with software engineer jobs. So as any degree, as any entry level um, job, you will have to network, right? Get LinkedIn, network, preferably start your own website, uh, market yourself. Okay. So the, the market has become slightly saturated, but you can still get an entry level job. You just have to market yourself. You have to network, you know, have a good resume, um, find an internship if you can, and also grind leak code. Okay. You're going to need to grind leak code to pass one of these tech interviews. So, you know, get this degree, grind leak code, network your butt off. You'll get a six figure job at some point. I believe in you guys. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. You know, I'm always here to help. Like I said, I'm a small YouTuber, so I've, I have time to comment. I have time to reply. You know, I'm always trying to help. I want you guys to succeed. You know, we're all here together to succeed, have a good career, make money, you know, do something we're passionate about. And, uh, like we all found WGU. We're all in the same boat here. And, um, you know, I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. I want you guys to succeed. Like I 100%, like if you guys succeed, it makes me smile. If you guys succeed, it makes me happy. Like I, anytime one of you tells me you got a job, anytime one of you tells me you completed your degree, you know, anytime you tell me like I've helped you in any way or somebody else has helped you, like it makes me feel very happy. So I want you guys to succeed. Invest in yourself is the best thing you can do. Investing in yourself is always the absolute best thing you can do. And this degree is investing in yourself, you know, so great degree, great curriculum, and you will land a good job at some point. So I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful night. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. So bye guys.